Gainsboro Jackson County Middle School was recently recognized for its summer STEM program. As our Davis Nolan uh, shows us, students launched their own high altitude weather balloon. Meteorologists need to know what the upper air currents in the jet stream are doing to help forecast the weather. And that's why weather balloons are so important. And the students at Jackson County Middle School got a firsthand look. Three, two, one! And here's a balloon's eye view as it ascended over Gainesboro on a beautiful sunny day. Jackson County 8th grade teacher Michael Vajant and his students have done this for the last five years. I just wanted to do something fun, something that not every other school is doing. And we're really the only school system in Tennessee that does this regularly. And we launch our um, balloons with lots of tracking devices on it. But the, uh, the main one is our radio tracker that tells us you know, like how fast it's going, how high it's going. And their balloon flew to a height of 103,000 feet, about 19 miles high. And that put it in the stratosphere, the layer above where our weather takes place. And look at the amazing view from up there, where the sky is black instead of blue, and you can see the clouds below. Now, eventually, the device is parachuted to Earth, and in years gone by, the balloon has traveled as far away as Roanoke, Virginia. But this year, it didn't go far, and that was a weather lesson in itself. And it didn't really go that far because the weather was so, and as you probably know, the upper atmosphere is really slow. The wind, the upper winds were really slow. So it just went, you know, from Gainesboro to um, between Monterey and Sparta, which is about 40 miles maybe. And that's because this upper level high pressure ridge that has brought us the warmer temperatures this week contains very light winds. In 2024, they plan to bring their balloon and its cameras north to live stream the next great American eclipse of the sun from 100,000 feet high. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.